whether you go for train, whether you go for car, you still have to pay the parking fees for the, uh, the monthly parking fees for the school, right? Can we do, just divide it by fixed assets and non-fixed assets? Fixed assets? Why Can we say that non-relevant costs are fixed assets and uh, re relevant costs are those that appear during a process? You can be right because fixed costs, normally the fixed costs are sunk costs. But yeah. like I told you, we are talking about relevant costs. So not in every situation, every fixed cost is some cost. Right? Oh, okay. Not in every situation. Yeah. So that's the beauty of having relevant cost because relevant costs are not categorized into variable or fixed cost. Relevant cost, either cost is relevant, either cost is irrelevant. Right? But you may be right because most of the cost in fixed nature they are categorized as irrelevant, are cost. not relevant, right? Some cost, but we do not categorize in terms of fix or value. Maybe the only one who has issues with the connection. Okay, so so you see, her total average cost was six point six one nine. So it's not totally relevant. So in these, some of the costs are not relevant. So it means. So we cannot multiply the per mile with the total miles because in this 0.619, if you look at the example here, let me show you. So in this, some of the costs are irrelevant. For example, insurance, right? Insurance, school parking, right? We need to ex exclude that one. So let's go back to our Let's move forward. So again, <clears throat> decline in resale value due to additional miles, relevant because when you drive, miles is going to be increased. So that is relevant. Round trip of the train fare is relevant, why? Because that differs between these two alternatives. If she pick car, she forego the train ticket, if she Purchase the train ticket, then she would forego the car trip and avoid gasoline. So that's why the round trip cost for the train is. Sorry, sir. Sure. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Get, sir. Can you hear me now? You, you have been, your internet connection have been dropping. Okay, wait, wait a second. Okay, similarly, so you see, round trip is clearly relevant because it differs between, between these two alternatives. If you go through car, if you go through train, you may avoid one another. So it differs between these two alternatives. Relaxing on the train, also relevant, why? Because you are driving, you need, you are very fatigued, you know, a lot of stress, a lot of, you know, muscles are going to be involved in driving, but in train, you are relaxed. But we are not given the value, but clearly it is relevant. So, kennel cost is not relevant, you see. So, if you are driving, you still need to put your dog in kennel and pay for the services. If you are using train, you still have to put your dog or your pet into kennel and pay the cost, right? Keeping, you know, it's uh, keeping cost. So that's why Sorry. it's relevant. Yes. What is kennel, sir? Kennel cost? It's a cage you put into a, you know, cage and take it to the, you know, uh, it's like, you know, pet like over there. Oh, okay, okay. When you travel with pets, right? Yeah, when you travel with pet. And then they take care of your pet when you are gone. When you come back, you pay the cost and take your pet with you. Oh, understood. Understood. Thank you. Right? Okay. 
So the cost of parking in New York is also relevant, right? Because you need to pay additional. So it's not like that you purchase the school parking. So it's, you can be parked you know, anywhere in, you can park your car anywhere in New York. No, in New York, you have to pay for, uh, you know, the car parking. So it is relevant. If you are taking train, you can avoid it, right? So avoidable costs, the other name of relevant costs is avoidable, right? So you can avoid this car parking if you take train, clearly relevant. So benefits of having car in New York, also relevant, right? Because you can find spaces, find, uh, no, sorry. You can go easily, wherever, wherever you can go, you can avoid taxi fares in New York. So, <clears throat> Since you are, we are not given the amount, so we are avoiding it, but if we are giving the amount, it is quite relevant, right? Benefits of having car in New York. And also the Did problem- happen again? Really? Sir, Sir, I can hear you. Wait a second. Okay, so we were talking about the, benefits and problem having uh, more in New York. So let's just talk about this. So the problems of for finding parking space is also relevant because that differs between these two alternatives that it's avoidable cost. But since we are not given dollars, so we cannot put in values, but if we have given the dollars, that would be uh, we can include that in our decision making. So, when you identify the costs, costs are like this. So, gasoline prices, this is 460 mile round trip, 230 one side and coming back 230. So, total is, answer would be 460. 460 multiplied by the gasoline prices, what is $6. Maintenance, Increase gonna be 29. So if you're parking, parking is $50. So you see, see here. So in decision making, which one you decide? Round trip for train because the cost is lower in going through train than going through your own car. So you see some costs that should be included here in driving. It is not included, why? Because the nature is unavoidable. So that's why we excluded that one. So we do have other examples as well. So here we go. So that is more meaningful here. So the question says, the management of the company is considering a new labor saving machine that rents for 3000 per year. So the data about the company's annual sales and costs with and without the new machines are given below. This is current situation and this is new situation. So we can avoid the direct material costs. We can save the labor, right? So direct labor is saved. Right now you are paying $40,000 for direct labor. And after buying this machine, you can save 15,000. So differential costs, you make a third column, you just make a difference. So you less and in every situation here. So did you find anything here? Here. So you can avoid. Uh, okay. So only in new situation, you need to pay a rent, right? So the situation says you can increase your net operating income. So in making the scenes, you don't base your decision on new situation. You make based on you make your decision based on relevant cost or differential cost. Here we go. So you make a relevant cost here. So this is a saving. So that's why it's a positive sign. So many students they are confused. This is direct labor costs. So fifteen thousand should be negative. No, this is saving of fifteen thousand. That is a positive sign here, right? A saving of 15,000 is a positive sign here. So only rent, you need to pay a rent. Rent is cash outflow. So here we go outflow here. 
So since the situation, situation is giving you positive number, so it means it is beneficial for you to go and have this machine rented. Right, Chandra, Christine, David, Sipadev? Yeah. Yeah, you save up to 12,000, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so total and differential cost approach. So using a differential cost approach is desirable for two reasons. Number one, only rarely will enough information be available to prepare detailed income statement, right? So like in our previous example, we are given this whole data here, right? That's it. But it's really given. So managers need to decide quickly. So only thing that is available here for the management for the managers are like, for example, here. So you, you don't you do not need to build all this income statement. The question will give you, for example, you the rent can be uh, okay. The direct labor can be saved fifteen thousand, but the rent is three thousand. So saving in labor 15,000, paying of the rent 3,000, so difference is 12,000. So my 12,000 cash is going to be increased by that machine. Rather going extensively to making income statement, you can just decide based on quick checks. That's it, based on relevant cost. Everything will be same. Our sales is not going to be increased or decreased. Anything, our, our variable cost, overhead, or anything other rent is not going to be like increase or decrease only if we rent this machine we will be saving 15,000 labor costs 15,000 you know is a positive number and we need to pay a rent so rent is 3,000 so difference is 12,000 okay you would say quickly buy this machine or rent this machine right so the other is mingling irrelevant costs with relevant cost may cause confusion and distract attention away from information that is really critical. So when you are deciding, if you make all these big income statements and all the stuff and you are comparing and making activity, it's also time consuming plus, maybe it will give you uh, or you pick some irrelevant information and make it relevant. And the old decisions mixed up and you made a wrong choice, right? So the reasons why you are using differential cost analysis in decision making, number one is that you don't need to make a full income statement, sorry, full income statement, plus you, you can avoid mingling the costs. So what we mean by this, I think we can talk about from this example, if what if we mingle these, what will happen? So let's do this together. Uh, rather, I should, I think I should make up this breakout room and it, let's do it in breakout room because only in case one and case two, what you need to do, you need to pick the relevant cost. So that will clarify that.